All right, so we're going to tackle a basic roof in this one. It's actually quite simple. They're more or less like really elongated walls if you like that. So I'm just going to delete these real quick. And we're going to go back through this process. It's not that hard to do. So throw a cube up, right? Go to side views, hit Alt Z. Good snapping. We're using the uh, walls from one of the previous videos. Want it to run the back. That's for this first piece here. Okay. So go ahead and go into object mode. Let's move it to the grid that we've been using for everything else, which happens to be the corner of the wall. Hopefully, I grabbed the back side. Yeah, I did. A lot easier than you probably thought, right? Some guys really struggle with this one too. So if you had a steep roof, you can make this steeper, you know. If you had a shallow roof, you make it shallower. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it. If you're gonna create like gutters and stuff, you can make them independent and make them like pipes, like where it's a little sub kit basically. Um, however, you could just model pieces in directly, I guess, if you wanted to. Maybe it's part of the architecture or something. But basically. Is a good place to delete these faces. Oh, just the faces. Right here, you can do an inset. Oh, let's not do that. Let's do a loop cut. Control R, Control B, inset, hold Control. Don't actually do any actual insetting stuff. Just hold Control and press um, B. It'll give us a little, take away that extra face in there. Anyway. Gutter, something, right? Pretty simple. Doesn't have to be. Attached to the actual roof section, like I said, maybe a sub kit that you just place along with it or something. Anyways, so for the most part, you shouldn't see these little holes here in the edges. I get rid of those. I won't see the back side of it. Not guaranteed, you might see the bottom side. It might be a section down here people see. So, I might leave that. Because of that, uh, pretty much set. I'm going to go ahead and just add a diffuse texture to this real quick, just so you get an idea of um, what you can do with these kinds of things. So let's do a, uh, we'll do some kind of metal. None of these are squared, are they? We'll try these ones. They're not squared, so we're going to get the... I really don't want to do that to you guys. It needs to be, like, squared up or seamless. Let's try to... A different one, then, I guess. This is seamless. We'll use that to, like, a panel instead. But, anyways. I'm just going to unwrap. Get it. See, it doesn't quite line up. It means perspectives or your um, your aspect ratio or whatever is kind of messed up so you might want to do these individually and have them overlap right so they can stretch from side to side so usually using trim sheets on these kinds of things are quite useful uh, you might trim them from left to right but however you also might trim them vertically going down as well okay so that's something that could happen potentially i'm going to just do left to right for now but You'd want to come through and just do the rest of this as well. Focus in on that section first. Rotate it. I don't know if that matters. Yeah, sure. This might be rotated up here too. I need to rotate it 90 degrees. Please. It bounds, but you guys could use text tool, fill or crop or something to do that same thing. Basically, you could stack them by just centering them on each other. See, so when you're using trims like this, you can actually create a purposeful seam somewhere, and it wouldn't really matter. If you don't see it, you don't see it. Um, yeah, so there we go. We got that done. Let's just say that's the roof. I want to make this a little bit more interesting because we don't have any good textures. 
that kind of separates this stuff. So what I'm going to do is do a color in the shader editor, mix RGB input. Color tribute real quick. Let's go ahead and I'm gonna press in, bring out the uh, add-on, the crayon add-on. You can manually vertex color thing, but it's just aesthetic at this point. Maybe one's like a dark red and one's a brownish orange. Apply vertex color. Apply. There we go. There's the roof section now. So I want this to be different basically. So I'm going to just select it all. Faces. We're going to go ahead and separate it. Good. Apply gray. Okay. We can join them back together, but it's still just separated, but it's the same object, basically. All right. All right. So here's the deal. This is where things get tricky. Let's do the layout. You could go through this and model it more, basically, if you wanted to. Maybe you wanted to do some loop cuts, some bevels, maybe little sections here. Maybe we want to, oh, you know what? Let's not do that. Let's do some loop cuts, not bevel. Let's do an inset, individual. And oh, it doesn't match the texture. Let's not do that. Right here, right here. Those lined up pretty well, I would say. Bad. We'll do an inset. Copying this value by hovering over it, pressing Control C. And setting. I'm going to press Control V while I hover over it every time from now. So I can just inset, hit Control. Just, <laughs> just copy it, whatever. Copy it. Paste it, basically. Try that again. I got it messed up. Set. Hit B to turn that off. Copy. Inset. Paste. Set. Paste. Just gonna do it manually real quick through all of them. Could just do one and then try to match them all together because you can do things at angles sometimes. It's vertex snap, all that fun stuff. We're not we're not getting into all that. We don't really need these, do we? Control X. Nope. There. Control X quick dissolves. Alt S, a little, little bit of depth to it. I mean, it doesn't need a lot, does it? You can exaggerate things like that sometimes in games if you don't have any like characters getting up there. Might look a little nicer, who knows. All right, so that's just one unit. You can see it lines up with the wall. That's the idea. And I'm just going to move it over there real quick. But I'm going to actually duplicate this. Not instance it, just duplicate it. I mean, you could probably instance it. Let's try instancing it. Does this work? I haven't done it before, so. We're going to do probably more than we need. Okay? All of these. Oh, we can't instance it. Sorry. You have to duplicate it. You just realize what was happening if you did. It doesn't work with multiples if it was one maybe but not multiples uh, so we're going to join all these together to that last one here actually let's make this active and join to this one you see it adopts the origin point i want that origin point so um, let's use a mirror modifier okay you're going to do shift s cursor to select it press shift a create um you're going to create an empty X's okay and so when you do that your mirror object becomes your empty if you have this add-on it's called modifier list just go ahead and click the plus sign here it creates it um so all of you hit alt z you'll see it created the empty for us basically uh, the modifier list when you apply the add-on or apply the mirror or whatever you're using it basically it'll erase the empty along with 
the application of the modifier. So, uh, but this is good because now we can try to figure out what we got to do here to make this thing work. Material preview. Okay, let's grab this guy. It's going to be a little hard to see what's going on here, but basically we're rotating one way or the other. <laughs> Like it's backwards. Let's just rotate it real quick. 90 degrees. So press RZ or 45 degrees, I should say. Let's take this. We're going to bisect. We're going to try flipping. Yeah. Sometimes you got to flip them before it does what you want. Now, this should have went all the way over the edge over here, but it didn't. So, what I have to do grab that empty, go back over here. There's G, Shift, Z, hold control. Figure out where we got to place it. Right? And, um, probably not far enough, huh? G, Shift, Z. There we go. Looking a little bit nicer. I think that might be it. So it's basically double, double the size, double the units. Almost. I got order left over here. But anyways... So we could do things like this, but if you're careful in planning, you can apply the, uh, the mirror modifier now. Make sure you have um, merge on, by the way. Apply that. If you did this carefully, though, you, you might have just the right amount left over that you can just like slice this out and it'll all work perfectly. In this case, I did it. So I want to make sure it's just lining up with the wall more than anything else. See, it's not. So actually, let's. I did that wrong. Oops. Control Z back. Maybe we'll get lucky here. <laughs> Control Z all the way back. Okay. I was like, this isn't going good. What's going on? Should be a square. Yeah, the same size, two meters. Or um, a little bit bigger, maybe. That. Okay, and it was positioned in the wrong spot. Also, the empty becomes, um, when you move and your empty is not parented to your object, you can't move it again. So you have to select the empty, shift click this, and then hit control P, and then parent keep object offset. So select empty, that, get it? Did that wrong. There you go, that's more right. So now these line up. Okay. Finally got it. We made a roof, all right. We could take this a step further if we wanted um, by creating additional little elements to dress up on here, like little things in the corner to cover that seam. Probably could even merge some of this stuff out, maybe. Uh, you could apply it so you can modify it, right? Might be able to get away with doing a couple GG twice, and sliding this down. Like you see, sometimes it doesn't work out. I have to cover that up. Right. Generally, this isn't too bad. So let's do, um, do a little cylinder, like a six-sided one. Six is the minimum you want to go to keep the shape of the cylinder. But anything lower, it's no longer technically. So these, won't, these will subdivide, at least. The other ones won't. Rotate, should be 45. I'm going to duplicate this real quick. So I have a backup. I need it. We're going to go over to local. So switch to local here. Hopefully, I didn't do that in edit mode, and I did. So here's the problem. I didn't adopt the rotational value of the object. So you add a loop cut down the middle. Use machine tools. You can actually get the rotational values. You zero them out. Not cool, right? And so I needed to do. I needed that to be flat to begin with. But um, now that it's zeroed out, so we can really just do the RZ four five. Oh, RZ negative four five. You type it in. 
Um, you can use local. You can do a rotation on Y now, like that. So when you move this thing around, you can line it up kind of by eye. Doesn't really matter. I guess we're not at 45 degrees. Made of 45. I guess I rotated it or something. Else. Push it down on Z. I have to edit mode, Alt S. Do that one in the middle. I'll just use the move tool here. And create a little weather stripping type stuff here. A little bars going down the side of the building, whatever. Right. Give it the same material. It's going to do a um, cylinder projection. I don't really care if it's right. See, that worked out pretty well. Duplicate it. Should be able to unspin it. Oh, we might have to spin it evenly though. Let's do global. R Z. So global instead of local. See it came off the surface too. So. I usually do it like this, where I just get it close enough, you know. Slide them back up a little bit. Slide them back there. You need it right right here on this spot, you'll have to knife cut it and kind of line it. For the most part. Works out quite well. Generally you don't need that. Because what's gonna happen is uh, we'll put them in the middle. Okay. You'll have a cap for the top as well. But this is about in every industrial commercial kind of building that you've ever seen. It's kind of weird like this. Something similar anyways. Pull that one out on our normal. Pull it down. Alright, cool. That's not centered, I don't think, but I want to center it, just add a loop cut real quick. Just kind of mark it. And um, this is the whole panel, so I'm just gonna just gonna duplicate it. Place it over here. Join it to this panel. Those were all instances, so they all lay out like so. Control J to join them. Yep. One unit now. This one we could continue working with similar kind of setup here. Um, personally, I don't know. I don't think you would use it in that manner. You'd probably use this one. Run it up to this one. And just have them kind of like lay underneath it. So it would be like L, Shift D, P, separate selection. Over real quick. I don't know what else I took along with it. <laughs> I took, took something with it. Let's try that again. It's selected. There you go. Okay, so once you get it selected, you can hit L to try to select it. Shift D, right click, P, separate selection. Yeah. There you go. We're good. Same process here, right? Shift D, put it over. Take these two. I'm going to join them real quick. I'm just going to do a K. Oh, don't edit. KCA. Click here. And. It, I think there's a way to change the angle, so I'm just going to turn angle off because I don't know it, to be honest. I know it does 30s and 60 degrees, but I'm not sure how to get it to 5 exactly. Pretty sure it's like hit a little shortcut down here. I just don't feel like reading right now. Take these and drop them in a little bit lower so they're not showing the um, ends here where the, there's no polygons. I could have cut them a little closer. If you want, you could just try to slide them back a little. Do it a little bit tighter. All right. 
And um, this is going to be fun. I want these over here as well. So we could do the same kind of process where we use a mirror modifier. Uh, since I do believe that if I can adopt the edge underneath this, I can mirror them over well. But um, we'll do the mirror modifier. It's probably going to be it's less destructive. Probably a better idea. But you do have to create that empty and probably go through that whole process again. Bisect it, flip it, and all that. Rotate it 45 degrees. Probably got to move it. What am I doing? What's that? I had the object selected too, not just the empty. Oh, we don't even have to bisect it. That was a lot easier. Then. I have to bisect it, and flip it, and all. But just apply it. So you can see where that um, it is off just a tiny bit. See that um, mirror modifier, or with the uh, modifier less add-on. Everything's a lot easier here. What the heck's going on with this? Oh, it's not, um, I got the modifier. Empty state, though. I'm holding control and shift, um, and I'm still not getting an exact alignment here. Well, exactly what's going on with it. So if G, shift, Z, I'm just going to eyeball it. Select it, apply it. We shouldn't see an empty anymore. Good. Join it to that. There you go. Back to material. Yeah, minuscule little difference there. You can't really see it, but it's... Something you could do, you could try to finish these off a little bit differently, but give it a little reflectance, I think, with the material. A little it's painted metal, so you don't really make it metal. It doesn't look right. So, yeah, that's pretty much that. This is now a Pretty much a complete setup. You can just rotate these. Working out. This direction. It's the same thing, guys. It's just like a wall. It's just like a really elongated wall, but it's a little bit different how you do it. And, um, yeah, that's it. So, wall unit, corner unit. Just kind of get the idea. <laughs> Basically the same thing. So, not too bad. Now we have a, um, I don't know, it reminds me of like a school or a library or something. Weird gutter though. All right. So yeah, anything that overhangs, like anything that, well, your units... Like, you can place them at weird areas as well. Like, this is the wall, right? This lines up with the wall. So you can do things like that if you really wanted to, right? They all line up with the wall. But you could also place them up here at this area, right in the corner. This area. This one. Right? You could do that as well. I mean, technically, you could place it anywhere you want on the grid. Uh, specifically one meter units this um this piece but yeah you can do it like that also because we didn't we didn't make it but Middle section here, we might be able to get away with a duplicate. 
rotating at some weird angle, I guess. Almost got it. Um, you'd want to create a little center section on this. A piece where this all combines together up here. So it would be an X and Y. No, I guess we're going to skip that piece. It's basically the same as doing a floor tile. It's just like now it's elevated up here. So very, very similar floor tiles. Anyways, that's it for this one, guys. Hope you enjoyed watching. I'll check you out on the next one, all right?